everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Skylar from Unicorns and Typewriters and I'm so excited to bring you this video. And that is because today I just received in the mail my new Owlcrate box. And guys, this box is especially special because it is the April box. It got delayed um, because of everything going on in the world, which is totally understandable, and I'm not upset with Outcrate at all, but the anticipation, guys, the anticipation. This box is the reason why I continued to subscribe, even after I had told myself I would take a break because I was supposed to be saving money. <laughs> But books! The book sounded awesome. The theme of the box is full moon magic. And I've been waiting on this for so long because I am so, so excited to find out what is inside. I've seen a lot of other people posting that this is the best box they think they've ever gotten. So I'm especially excited for this. Anyway, so let's find out what is inside. Oh man, guys, I'm so excited already. All I've done is open the box and just seeing the card is so exciting. It's so pretty. This is beautiful. This is really just, this is already so beautiful. And I'm not gonna look at the back, but it is full moon magic themed. I just glanced to make sure I wasn't getting the title wrong, but I'm not gonna look at any of the spoilers. So this is my first time opening the box as well. I'm really excited to experience this with you guys and I hope it goes better than my last unboxing which was the very first one I ever did on film. And as you know, if you've seen that video, I had a few issues, but Outcrate resolved everything for me. They are amazing. If I haven't updated on that already, or you haven't heard my update, I just want to make sure you know that Outcrate did totally fix the problem and they're amazing. And I just, I love Outcrate, which is why I had to get this box. So now <laughs> got to get rid of all this crazy paper stuff that is always just everywhere. Um, I'm so excited to clean that up again. Now I'm gonna try to kind of contain it this time. Last time I was just like throwing it everywhere. I don't know, it was the beginning of quarantine. But this time I'm gonna try to be a little neater with this paper, maybe. Oh my gosh, already I'm so excited. The pin, the pin is so cute. I think it's like, it's a bit tilted in here, but it is an owl with kind of moon phases next to it. Aw, oh, it's so cute. I love this. This is so, I knew this box would be amazing. This is all like right up my alley. So this is the monthly enamel pin and I'm really excited about it because it's super cute. Um, I think they said they were working with someone specifically. It's designed in collaboration with White Wide Woods. So that is an Etsy shop. So check that out. Oh man, this is just getting better and better. So let's see. There is something cloth-like. I'm gonna like put down the box for a second so I can better show you guys the objects. There's some kind of fabric. Oh, it's a bag. Oh, it's a canvas bag. I love canvas bags, guys. I have a couple from Alcrate and they are all so cute. Let's see what this one says. So it says, the moon is a loyal companion. Oh, that is so cute. And it's also like moon phases. Oh man, this is just too adorable. I love this. I'm so excited to use this. I don't use my canvas, like, I don't use my totes enough, especially now that I have nowhere to go except for work, and I try to bring as little as possible to work because I don't want to worry about sanitizing things, but man, I can totally see myself using this in the future for, like, if I'm staying over places, or if I'm traveling, if I'm just carrying books around. It's perfect, and it's so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. So the next object that I am pulling out of my magic box is this little pouch that has something in it, but it says a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. That's so cute. I love moon stuff. So guys, I'm just going to be fangirling like crazy over this entire box. Oh man, what is in here? It feels, it's like wooden something letters. <gasps> No, I think it's like moon phases. Oh man, it is. It's like moon phases on a string. No, so it's like a decoration. <laughs> oh man, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm totally gonna hang this up somewhere. I cannot wait to find a place for this. I, maybe I'll hang it on my bookshelf. I don't know, but it's adorable. And I love, I love moon phases. I love this so much. I should have worn my shirt that has moon phases on it. I thought about it, but I just have been feeling really spring themed. So I've been wearing more spring themed outfits, but eventually I'll probably wear that shirt and you'll know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> this is just pleasing my little witchy heart so much. So, so much. 
there is a little box that has the Alcrete head and then the moon face is on either side of it, guys. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's a bracelet. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <gasps> it's so cute. So weird fact that I'm like, I'm allergic to like every sort of metal. Basically, I am very sensitive to metals because I'm allergic to nickel, which is in every like, basically any inexpensive metal. So that sucks. But I have to put on this bracelet anyway. This is so cute. Like, I hope you can see it clearly. This is adorable. I love this. It is so cute. I'm going to keep it on. And hopefully, usually my wrists are the best thing I can wear metal on and not have a bad allergic reaction. So we'll see. But I'm going to wear it as long as I can until my wrist like falls off or something. <laughs> I just love it. It's so pretty. It's very, it's so delicate and cute. I love this. Guys, this box is packed with stuff. I can't even believe like I'm pulling out one thing and there's still a whole bunch in there. But this looks super cute. Oh no, I only saw the back of it. So I saw this and I was like, oh, so cute, a little notepad. This is Alcrate. No, no, it gets better. It's a whole little design and it says, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? And it's a quote from Oscar Wilde. That's so pretty. It's like that nice, like geometric kind of like mountains. Oh, that is so cute. I love this. This is so adorable. And yeah, it's just like a plain lined like notebook. This is perfect. I love notebooks. I'm a writer as well as a reader. So I am always buying notebooks and just collecting them and writing in them all the time. I should probably finish writing in one before I start another one. But when I have an especially new pretty one, I just can't stop myself. I have to use it. So I'm super excited to use this, guys. I just saw the book when I was taking out this last item and I'm so happy it is a book that I've been seeing a lot of buzz about and I just saw someone else open it in a different book box and I was like I need to check that out that sounds great and now I have it um but we'll get to that in one minute because there is one more item which is at least I think this is the last item which looks super cool oh yeah it's a puzzle so I got a Harry Potter puzzle that I showed you a while ago in my Harry Potter, like, um, what was that? My Lit Crate Joy. So now I have another Harry Potter themed puzzle and I'm so excited about it. It's Remus Lupin, guys, like from Harry Potter. It's Mooney. Oh man, it's so cute. And that's why it is a Mooney puzzle. It says, have a cozy night in and steer clear of werewolves with this 300 piece Mooney jigsaw puzzle with artwork by At Atalian Art. So yeah, I was freaking out when I saw the hint for the next box because it was an image of a puzzle from How's Moving Castle. But guys, this is freaking adorable. Like, I love this. All the details in his office. He's so cute in this picture. Okay, I feel like this is like a younger version of him. This is adorable. I love this. I can't wait to do these puzzles. And if I have the space one day, I'd love to frame them and hang them up. They're so pretty. I can't just like... I can't just like make them and throw them back in the box. Like I have to be able to frame them. So I have to figure out how to do that. And I'm totally gonna use them as decoration when I have a future area for all my books, which is gonna be so amazing. I can't wait to have that space. So you guys saw my like honest reaction to the book before. And so guys, I'm so excited for this. I didn't know that this was the book that would come in this box, but I also saw that it's been coming in fairy loot boxes as well. And that is the Bone Crier's Moon. And it is by Katherine Purdy. And I'm really excited to read this one, guys. This cover is so pretty. It looks like it's kind of extra blue and shimmery. So, and then of course it comes with a letter from the author as well. I'm just gonna pop it out of here so we can get a better look at the book. This is the little card and on the back is a letter from the author, which I'm super excited to read later. I will take a closer look at that. And this copy is gorgeous. Ah, oh, it's got gold gold edged pages which is so pretty and then it is like this iridescent blue which I don't think the original copy is I'm pretty sure this is also they have been doing Alcrate exclusive so I'll just double check in the paperwork that they give us they usually explain that it is signed um it was tucked under the front of the cover it says this signed first edition is printed exclusively for Alcrate that's really pretty it's on this like nice page that has the moon faces on them of course that is so cute. I really love this. I've heard really good things. The quote on the back says, we will have to make our own sacrifices one day and it will be easier if we don't 
grow attached to those destined to die. That sounds very dark, but I'm really excited to give this one a try. I am focusing in May on the Asian Readathon, but guys, this might be the first book I have to pick up in June. I don't know. Or if I get through a bunch of books in May, maybe I'll just have to squeeze in it at the end of May. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm really, really excited for this and to see if it lives up to all the hype that I've been seeing about it on Bookstagram and Booktube. So I'm just going to check. Oh, yeah. So in the papers, it does show you kind of the different copies, the different editions. I don't know if Fairy Loots was slightly different, but that's the original edition. It's kind of just dark blue with green leaves. And the Alcray edition is this all iridescent blue. Guys, it's so pretty. I'm so glad to have the Alcrate edition of this book because it is absolutely gorgeous and I'm really excited about it. This has that beautiful, like, same art, art design that's on the card that explains everything. So I'll just take a quick look at that card that gives you all the info about this box. So they said that there's a canvas pouch that has the quote from Oscar Wilde, which we already saw. Oh, and the Bamboo Moon Phase Banner. Yes! To add some celestial vibes to your wall decor is designed by Alcrate team member Paperback Bones. So that is amazing. I'm really excited. I want to see if I can pin that up to my bookshelf. I think it's going to look so cool. Um, the tote is inspired by the book Shatter Me and is by Unlucky Design. And the notebook with the Oscar Wilde quote is by Kim Becker Design which is so beautiful. And this beautiful wristlet that I still have on is inspired by Winterwood, which I'm so excited. I actually have Winterwood, but I haven't read it yet. It came in a previous Owl Crate box, so I really have to read that now, guys, now that I've got this beautiful bracelet inspired by it. Um, and then I've also got the puzzle, which of course I already told you guys about. And the Bone Crier's Moon, they say on this card, is a spellbinding story brimming with vibrant mythology, star-crossed lovers, and dangerous magic. Our Alcrate exclusive edition features a unique cover and beautiful sprayed edges. Author Catherine Purdy signed the book and included an author letter for our subscribers as well. That was an amazing box, guys. I'm really, really happy with this one. And I do agree it is one of the best boxes that I've gotten in a long time. I love everything in it. It is amazing. I can see myself using everything really practically, which I really enjoy. So the next box, which they already posted the theme of on Instagram since this box was running late, is Rebels with a Cause. This looks like a really cool design. I'm really excited to find out what's in this box. It says every May box will include a graphic novel from Oni Press. So it's two books in one box. I've had a few of those. That's so exciting. And I feel like Oni Press is... A good brand too. I feel like I know them from graphic novels and I love graphic novels so I'm really really excited guys. This box was amazing. The next box sounds like it's gonna be epic so I'm really excited. I cannot wait. I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I hope it was fun. I really enjoyed doing this today. It went really well thank goodness. Yeah I am so excited with this beautiful edition of the Bone Crier's Moon. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. I can't even believe how like shiny and beautiful this is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and maybe check out some of my other videos. I have a few other box openings already posted on my channel and I definitely plan to do more in the future. And I also have a bunch of videos on the books I'm reading and different monthly wrap ups, as well as also having some videos on writing and studying abroad, which I plan to post more of in the upcoming weeks. So I really hope that you'll give this video a like if you enjoyed it comment below let me know let me know in the comments did you get this box are you excited about this have you read the bone crier's moon tell me about it if you have tell me if it's worth it tell me how excited i should be and i really can't wait to be back with my next video again next week so hope you guys have an amazing weekend and thank you so much for watching bye